teams in the base. They have me sighted. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and you guys know I love my Easter eggs but this one truly gave me a run for my money. After 12 hours, yes 12 hours of constant restarts, I finally got the footage that I was happy with to bring you guys the best possible guide on how to complete the brand new Rebirth Island Easter egg. So with the start of Season 1 of Black Ops Cold War, we got a very complex and tedious Easter egg added onto this new map and to be honest with you it is miles more difficult than Bunker 11, the stadium, the secret subway. I've covered all the wars on Easter eggs here on my channel, but this Easter egg, in all honesty, requires the most amount of RNG that I've ever seen in any Call of Duty Easter egg. Not even joking there, and you'll see what I mean in a second, but I can promise you one thing, after watching this video, you'll definitely have a much smoother experience than I had when I first tried to beat this, since there are quite a few spawn locations for a number of different items, and luckily in this video, I'll be covering all of them. Unlike many other videos out there, they were rushed and didn't even include half of what I'm going to show you here in this video, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and also be sure to use code DYNAMITE if you want to save 10% on any Control Freak orders. Their link is, of course, down below in the description. So Rebirth Island brings forth a secret yellow door easter egg. You need an 8-digit code to open the secret yellow door. Now, to get the 8-digit code, you're going to have to find a suitcase with three photographs, but unfortunately, there's a ridiculous amount of spawns for both of those, so before I show you all the locations for where everything's at, let's do a run-through of how this easter egg works, just so you understand the logic behind what's going on here on Rebirth Island, so what you're going to be doing is finding a suitcase that could be found on the edges of the map, and once you find the suitcase, there will be three photographs located right beside it. The three photographs actually pinpoint to three certain rooms on this map, and in each one of those rooms, there will be a secret set of hidden numbers that you have to find. You're then going to put together all three sets of those numbers to get your eight-digit code that you're going to use to unlock the secret yellow door. It may sound simple, but it's really not when you learn how much RNG is actually involved with a quest like this, so when it comes to the suitcase, Cases. We right now have nine different spawn locations, which I'll visualize on screen so you can see with this beautiful map. And there may be more. And if there are any more that are found, I will have a pinned comment down below updating you guys with the latest on these suitcases. But here's the thing. I'm not too concerned on extra suitcase locations because if you have to look at more than six to nine, then you might as well restart. There is no time to waste throughout this Easter egg, right? Just like Bunker 11 on Verdansk, you know, there's no time to waste looking through 10 plus telephones to get your sequence to open the bunker. You just don't have that kind of time. I mean, maybe on Verdansk you did because of plunder, but in Rebirth there is no plunder. You have Battle Royale, so the storm could affect your ability to actually do this Easter egg. It could close off parts of the map that you need, so you have to be as quick as possible. Now, the best way to do that with suitcases isn't just to split up with your team, but it's actually to look for them in the pre-game lobby. So believe it or not, you can actually see the suitcase spawn in right in front of your eyes at the very last second of the pre-game lobby. So when the timer hits one second and your screen fades to black for your match to begin, you could see the suitcase spawn in. So this is a huge strat for everybody out there who wants to speed run this or for anybody out there that wants that better time management. If you can find that suitcase in the pre-game lobby, it gives you an immediate boost so that you can just start the match and jump right to the suitcase and find your photographs to know where you have to go around the map. Like I said, the suitcase is the least of your concern here. The photographs require a lot more work than the suitcases, so don't even sweat it here. But if you're in a trios game, have each player go to a different location in the pre-game lobby, cross your fingers for a suitcase to spawn in one of those spots, but if not, you still have six other spots to check as I showed you on my map earlier a couple of minutes ago so you have nine locations total that you can burn through hopefully you get at least one of those if you're in a trios game looking at the pregame lobby but when it comes to the photographs now this is where things get pretty tricky so as of right now there are 26 different photographs on Rebirth Island and I don't think there are any more but if any more pop up I'll of course keep you guys updated but you can find 26 different photographs right there is no correlation or combination of them that you can find at certain suitcases. It is pure RNG. And when I first started hunting this, 
it was difficult, right? Trying to figure out where these photographs pinpoint to. We were like, what? You know, where do we even start with this? But luckily, after 12 hours of restarts, we had this beautiful visual for you guys, as you can see on screen. We've actually numbered all the photographs and showed you the correlation with which room the photographs are actually pointing to. So hopefully that really helps you, since my goal was to really include every bit of help possible in this video, whether it's a visual guide or gameplay of all the rooms and the hidden numbers. And there's also timestamps down below in the description if you want to skip through different parts of the video, feel free. But now when it comes to every single one of these rooms from the photographs, it was all about pinpointing at least an object that was in the photograph that could be found on certain parts of the map. Some were obvious and some just weren't. So starting off with a picture of a bulletin board. This could be found in a room near the docks and the set of numbers could be found right here behind the shelf. You'll see the numbers either painted in black or white depending on what location you're actually at. And I'll show you how to read these numbers and put them together to form your eight digit code. Don't worry about that at all. Let's just go ahead and write down all the numbers that you can find depending on what photographs you have. Now we then have a picture of a bookshelf and this could be found in the living quarters, kind of an obvious one. And the code will be at the bottom of the bookshelf right there next to the books. Not too hard to see. You also don't need a sniper at all to see most of these numbers. But if you guys are having a hard time seeing stuff, turn up your brightness, up your saturation, see what helps so you can visualize a lot of these areas. It could be quite dark on parts of Rebirth. Now we then have a picture of a cement mixer and this can be found at the construction site. So kind of an obvious one as well. And these set of numbers could be found on the left side of the machine itself. And this one gets a bit buggy visually, right? Sometimes the numbers are black, sometimes they're white. So try to mess with this one, but these set of numbers should be visible you know, right as you kind of peek your head around the corner there. We then have a picture of a mattress and this one could be found in the living quarters, except this one gets a bit tricky, right? It's kind of an obvious location, but there are two houses right next to each other which are identically set up. Now here's the thing. You want to go into the exact house that I actually pointed on with the map because one house has a bed with a pillow on it, another house has a bed without a pillow on it. You want to make sure you're in the bedroom that has a pillow on it because that is the room where the secret set of numbers will be located. So the numbers are found on the top of the bookshelf, right there on the left side of the door as you enter this bedroom, right there as you can see. Not too hard to spot, but again, it gets confusing when you have reused assets and identical looking buildings that kind of throw you off with where you have to go. That's what made this hunt so damn difficult. But we then have a picture of what looks like dual terminals. And excuse my terminology here if it's not exactly what it is, but we have dual terminals here, which can be found in the Nova 6 factory. And the numbers can be found underneath the TV on the left side, right there, as you can see. I mean, when the numbers are black in a dark corner, it gets really tough. So if you have a thermal, that can help you. If you have a flare or say a flamethrower or whatever that can help, it can definitely illuminate the room a little bit. Anything can help you with this. But we then have a picture of dual generators. This could be found in the prison block area. And right above the generators in this corner, you'll see the set of numbers. So kind of an easy one right there, not really too much to actually look for with that one. We then have what I call the blue machines, and these are easy to locate near the harbor, but what's crazy about this is the numbers aren't actually located by the blue machines themselves right here, as you'd expect. They're actually on the ground under the grate. So this is probably the most difficult set of numbers that you could find, at least in my opinion, but somehow most of the community ended up finding this straight away, even though I probably would have never stumbled across this, but absolutely crazy how hidden some of these numbers are with some of these locations. We then have the picture of a gondola. Now, this one's a bit tricky, right? It's like a picture of the sky, but you see the rope that kind of connects the gondola from one side to the other, so that was the hint with this one. And the code itself could be found on the very top of the gondola. So, when the gondola is kind of mounted, go ahead and try to mantle over it, and you'll be able to get on top of it, and you'll see the numbers located right there on the side of the gondola itself. But this one was a bit weird to find, right? We didn't know where to even start with this one, but luckily the actual line or rope in the photo was a bit of a tip for coming down to the docks here. But we then have a picture of what looks like a lab coat, and this could be found in the bioweapons lab, formerly Richthofen's lab, of course. Go up the stairs to the very top of this building, and you'll see a lab coat sitting right there. And the very top of a shelf, you'll see a set of numbers. So make sure you guys write that down as quickly as possible. Now, also notice how I was here during the pregame lobby, and just like with the suitcase, I managed to see the numbers spawn in right in front of my eyes. So for whatever reason, with this rebirth Easter egg, things could spawn in at the very 
very last second before your game actually begins. So a little fun fact for you there. We then have a picture of Nova 6 canisters also here in this building in the basement of the bioweapons lab, formerly Richthofen's lab as well. We have a sneaky set of numbers right here in between the pipes, right in the side there in this little hidden room. It's kind of funny looking at how far we've come with Alcatraz in the Treyarch universe, right? Mob of the Dead back in 2013, then Blood of the Dead in 2018, and then Alcatraz portals within Blackout a couple months after that, and now we have that reskin as Rebirth within Black Ops Cold War Warzone. So seeing the evolution of Alcatraz from Treyarch is absolutely insane. We then have a picture of some lockers or whatever that is, right? That is located in the prison block area. Just on the stairs when you leave the infirmary, you'll see one number in each individual locker, which is kind of hilarious, right? So this one was a bit hard to see at first. I'm like, wait, where are the numbers at? And in each one of these lockers, you'll see one digit, whether it's a dash, a number, whatever it is your numbers are in this location. You got to look in every single one of these peepholes to actually find it and the number should be outlined in white so you can very clearly see it in this area because it gets quite dark in there we then have a picture of power switches or whatever that is some type of electrical machine located here in the decon zone you can actually see the numbers right in the center and above all the switches here in this room so as you can see i've been pinpointing every single location on the mini map so that you can get an extra visual as to where i'm going hopefully that helps as well we then have a picture of a green box also located in the decon zone right here next to the front entrance and you can mantle onto the green box and you'll be able to see the numbers right there towards the lower part of the box itself we then have a picture of six different windows this one was a bit tricky and this is located in the chemical engineering building you'll actually find the numbers just underneath the desk right here in this room and there is the same set of six windows all over this building so this took a minute to actually find but if you look closely at the photograph you'll see there's a desk next to those six windows and this room is very unique like that with a desk right next to the window so that's how we actually figure this out so there's that one we then have a picture of a table and it's kind of hard to pinpoint at first when you look at the photo but as you look deeper it is a table but it's the very top of the watchtower located by the gondola so this one was also a bit tricky to look at at first so when you go up to the watchtower at the very top you see the same table from the photograph and also excuse some photographs are upside down in my screenshots but you get the point right and we then have a set of numbers located in the center right there of the kind of support beams of this watch tower this one was really hard to see at first because the sunlight is like right in your face so you could thank the next gen visuals for making this one a bit more difficult but there's that one here in the watchtower not too difficult we then have a picture of a ladder this one was a real big pain because i'm like where the hell is this one and luckily in this tiny shed which is a bit away from the prison block you see the numbers just behind this radio inside the little shed here so this one took i think probably the longest out of most of them that we were hunting but luckily we finally found it at first we were like wait a second are some of these numbers bugged out some locations not have numbers something wrong no some of these are just really well hidden in ways that you wouldn't even believe and we then have a picture of dual canisters also located in the chemical engineering building you'll find the numbers hanging out just underneath that pipe right over there so this one also was kind of hidden in the corner that i just wouldn't walk through when i walked through this building at all so this one took a minute to solve we then have a picture of a barrel by the sea as i call it so this one's just outside the construction site so we have numbers hanging out right next to the bottom of the brown pipe right near the water there also be careful because you can't swim in rebirth you will immediately die so watch your step as you walk through this area to find your numbers if that's where you have to go we then have a picture of a body bag why right, one of the easiest ones to find actually located in the tunnel that leads into the decon zone you'll find the numbers are actually as clear as day on the front of the door right by the body bag so you really can't miss this one if you go through this tunnel it's that simple we then have a picture of a satellite another easy one located in the security area on the other side of the map and just underneath the stairs where the satellite is located you'll see some super easy to spot numbers right there painted in black we then have a picture of a brown door located at the very bottom of the prison block you can actually get here very easily through the showers or the area that was formerly the showers back in alcatraz and you see the numbers right above that blue machine here as you can see again painted in black the lighting isn't that great in this area so hopefully your brightness is up quite a bit so you can see we then have a picture of a server console whatever that is something right <laughs> located in the decon zone you can mantle on top of the console itself and see the numbers hiding there in the crack again some of these could be tricky right some of these are on the ceiling on the floor in the cracks underneath things these could be challenging i'm not gonna lie and throughout the hunt i mean we solved quite a bit on our own but it was a community effort by far people coming together sharing tweets sharing images what they found it was awesome right at least they got done at the end of the day 
We then have a picture of what looks like a door near the docks area. So this one could be a bit tricky. It's here by the harbor and you'll find the numbers sitting behind this big crate on the right of the door. This one also took quite a while, probably as long as the ladder one, as you guys saw earlier. I don't know, we just couldn't find it for some reason. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, there's a crack right behind the crate. There are the numbers, that makes sense. The numbers are usually located close to, relatively where the actual objects are in the photograph. So shouldn't be too difficult to find the numbers, right? That's kind of the goal here of this Easter egg. We then have a picture of an IT room, also located by the harbor. You wanna head into the specific room here, as you can see, and you'll find the numbers up there near the ceiling. Not too hard to spot at all. It's a pretty vibrant room, but I've seen quite a few enemies pop in here every once in a while for no reason. So always watch your back when going for this. Things could get tricky. Now we then have a photograph of a yellow house painting. This one took a minute to find as well. Probably one of the last ones we ended up solving since there's a very obvious yellow house near the living quarters, but you have to kind of angle yourself towards the middle of the building so you can actually see where this painting is. And what do you know? The numbers are actually located at the very top of the air conditioning unit, which is also hard to see at times, right? You can take a sniper and look at it, or you can actually parachute in to see it up close. And there you have it. That is the yellow house painting, as I call it. But last and definitely not least, we have one last photo showcasing some wooden planks near the security area of the map. And underneath where the wooden planks are is where you can find the numbers. However, the numbers are in a bit of an awkward spot underneath the shelf. You have to take a few steps back to actually read them clearly. But there you have it. Gameplay of every single one of the rooms that correlate to the 26 different photographs that you can find throughout the Rebirth Easter Egg. But as a huge reminder, you only have to find one suitcase. There only is one anyway. And there will be three photographs located next to that suitcase. And then from that point forward, you have to worry about finding the three rooms that correlate to those three photographs, as I showed you on screen already, so you can find your three sets of hidden numbers. Now that you have your hidden numbers written down, you can learn how to read them and put them together so you can get your eight digit code to unlock the secret yellow door. So here's how the numbers work, right? The way you find the order in which you input these three sets is by looking for the dashes on the sets that you find. If you find a set of three numbers on their own with no dash, that's the beginning of the sequence. If you find a dash, two numbers, then a dash, that's the middle of the sequence. And if you find a dash with three numbers, that's the end of the sequence. So really pay attention to the dashes that you find when you go ahead and discover your hidden numbers. If you see no dashes, that's the beginning of your sequence. If you see two dashes, that's the middle of your sequence. And if you see one dash, then that is the end of your sequence. It is that simple. So you can find the sets of numbers in any order in your match through whatever photographs you want to go look at first. It's just up to you to find the correct sequence. You can't guess this whatsoever. You have to find all three photographs in every match that you play to open the secret yellow door. So let's get a bit of an example out here, shall we? So in my game, I had a photograph for the brown door and the numbers I found were dash four one dash. That's the middle of my sequence. We then have revived who was at the six windows location who found the numbers eight one two. So that's the beginning of our sequence. There are no dashes on his eight one two. So there's that. And we then have the gaming revolution at the cement mixer location who found the numbers dash two eight three. That's the end of our sequence. Put all that together. We have eight one one two dash four one dash two eight three so as a reminder again if the numbers have no dashes that's the beginning of your sequence if there's two dashes right with two numbers in the middle that's your middle of your sequence and if you have a dash and then three numbers that's the end of your sequence hopefully that clears things up and hopefully that makes sense you now want to input that onto the keypad in front of the secret yellow door located in the headquarters here on rebirth island once you do that the door will open and voila you'll see a specialist bonus the foresight kill streak and that beautiful red room silenced SMG blueprint. Absolutely beautiful. There's also some lore in here as well, some ciphers, some more interesting storyline about the Black Ops Cold War campaign connecting to modern warfare. Really cool room right here on Rebirth Island, right? An interesting first Easter egg for the map. Hopefully, we we'll see more in the future. But now, when it comes to the rest of the gameplay, right, we ended up going off and caught the dub. Hopefully, you enjoy that. But let me give you my take on this Easter egg for Rebirth Island, right? In all honesty, this. This is absolutely insane for a casual player, right? Luckily, a video like this exists where I can show you literally where all the rooms are, where the numbers are located. Imagine somebody not having this guide and trying to figure this out, right? Especially in a limited amount of time of Battle Royale, right? Where the storm's coming in, you have enemies sweating. This is a fast-paced map with only 40 people. This is a crazy Easter egg, right? I mean, guides will make this seem easy, but the hunt for this was unreal. I mean, I was looking at the other Warzone Easter eggs, right? You know, Bunker 11, the stadium, the subway, and I'm like, yeah, they were getting harder as time went on, right? They were putting harder and harder Easter eggs in, but this topped it all. This was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the amount of restarts just to try
try to get photographs that you're familiar with, that was a pain. But now that we know where all the photographs correlate to, it doesn't really matter. We can just go to whatever room that is. But on top of there being nine suitcase locations, it's like you have to deal with RNG for many things here, right? The nine suitcases, then the 26 photographs, then finding the numbers, staying alive if the storm doesn't kill you, right? And then also staying alive if enemies are sweating, and then looking at what weapons you have, what loot you found. It's crazy, right? You know, Easter eggs in a battle royale shouldn't be this complex, but you know what? I give, you know, Raven, I give whoever developed uh, this Easter egg for Rebirth Island full credit for trying something different with this. The Warzone Easter eggs are awesome, right? There's some cool rewards for it, but with how tedious this one was, I seriously put this as number one, right? The number one craziest Easter egg in Call of Duty history that requires the most amount of RNG. Please correct me on this in the comments. What Easter egg out there requires this much RNG? Please name one, right? Maybe Moon and zombies but that's about it that could top that but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave your thoughts down below in the comment section what do you guys think about this rebirth island easter egg will you be attempting it did you find this guide helpful and if there's any tips you have for making these warzone guides better in the future please drop all your feedback down below really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everyone